St. Chad was the very first Bishop of Lichfield, way back in the 7th century. Today, on St. Chad's Day, we celebrate our roots, that we're brothers and sisters not only across the world, but across the centuries as well. We share the good news with Chad and with his little band of brothers who met here at the well at the end of Stow Pool. Humanly speaking, we're here because of their faithfulness. Today, as well as joining in the celebrations, I announce my retirement. In 2003, 12 years ago, before the invention of Twitter and Facebook, before any of us had one of these, I received one of these from the then Prime Minister, Tony Blair, wanting to nominate me for the See of Lichfield to Her Majesty. And exactly 40 years ago, at Michaelmas, the end of September, I was ordained deacon. 40 years seemed quite a good stint to Jane and me. Much as we shall miss you, it wouldn't be right for us to retire within the diocese. So we're hoping to find somewhere in Kent, which is nearer to grandchildren and friends, and where we spent nearly 20 years of happy ministry before we came here. It's with great mixed feelings that I make this announcement, but much as Jane and I will miss you all very much indeed when it comes to go, we know that uh, it would not be right for us to stay for very much longer. There will be a big occasion and a small one for us to say our goodbyes. On Saturday, the 5th of September, I've invited people to represent every single parish in the diocese to come to the celebration of the goodness of God to us and to celebrate our life as a diocese. The day will be a wonderful coming together, a day of learning, fun, thanksgiving to the Lord for his goodness and his abundant love. We depend on one another and on God, and this will be an opportunity for Jane and me to give thanks to you. Then on Saturday, the 26th of September, at a more formal and smaller occasion, I will hand over my pastoral staff for safekeeping in the cathedral until the next successor to St. Jad comes along. If anyone needed reminding, this is a sign that all our strength and powers are temporary and we all depend upon God, whose faithfulness is great. I found myself singing quietly the hymn quite often that goes, let all thy days till life shall end whate'er he bring, be filled with praise. Thank you all so much for your fellowship and companionship in the Gospel. Thank you, Brother Chad. Thank you, Lord, for your love.